Am I the asshole for ruining my work colleague's wedding and getting them arrested? The title sounds bad, but hear me out. I, 38 female, had two work colleagues, Mary and Adam, both in their late 20s early 30s. Mary started in the company first and then she got Adam to join, they worked in different departments and Mary was in mine. Later, Mary left the company to pursue another carrier. When they started at the company, they were already married for a few years. Now Mary is the kindest and loveliest person I've ever met. She was always polite, helpful and would cheer anyone up. We missed her dearly. So it came to a shock when we found out she is divorcing Adam because he has cheated on her. I have called her to express how sorry I am that this has happened to her and we were talking almost dipy ever since. I was impressed how well Mary holds herself in such situation, she wouldn't badmouth Adam and the only thing she mentioned was how her wedding dress and a few family heirlooms went missing when she was moving her stuff from their apartment. She thought they might be misplaced in a different box and will turn up eventually. A few years passed, I now work in the same department as Adam. He is a good work colleague but can be dismissive and ignorant sometimes. Adam invited me to his wedding with the lady, Chelsea, he cheated on Mary with. As the entire department was invited, I said yes, making sure Mary is okay with this. I've also told her where the wedding will be. It's not too far from where she lives and we could go for some drinks after if she wanted to. On the day of Adam's wedding, I have noticed that Chelsea is wearing a similar dress that Mary worn in the photos of hers and Adam's wedding years ago. So without thinking I have snapped a picture and sent it to Mary with the caption saying, Doesn't this dress looks familiar? Mary saw the message but she didn't respond and about an hour later the police shown up at the venue. I need to add the police in our country is ruthless and any theft is considered a criminal matter for the police to deal with. Police has asked Chelsea to take the dress and all the jewelry off. Chelsea refused and started arguing with them, and then Adam joined in. As they were rude to the police, they were taken to the police station. Everyone at the wedding had to leave. I have tried to call Mary but she wouldn't pick up the phone. As we found out later Chelsea was wearing Mary's wedding dress and her heirlooms, Mary spotted them on her in the picture I sent to her and called the police. Apparently, she has previously asked Adam if he had them, and he declined, saying he never saw them. So after she saw the picture she knew he was lying and stole them. Chelsea had to leave the wedding dress and jewelry at the police station and go home wearing her underwear and Adam's jacket after they were bailed out. Yesterday Adam returned to the office and went completely mental at me. Blaming me for sending a picture to Mary and ruining his wedding, he would also call me an asshole for what I did. So Adam cheated on his wife, stole her wedding dress and heirloom jewelry, and then passed them on to his new fiancé who may or may not have known. All you did was alert the ex-wife you didn't call the cops. She did because she knew the background of him stealing from her and lying about it. I think it's pretty clear that Adam's the asshole, and possibly the police for the very severe way they handled this, not the asshole. Not the asshole I can't believe he would give his ex-wife's wedding dress and family jewelry to his new wife to wear in their wedding. I wonder if the new wife was told where he got them. I'd almost guarantee he made up a story about them being his family heirlooms. Not the asshole I mean yes, technically you are the asshole from Adam's perspective but you are totally justified in sending the photos and giving Mary the opportunity to get her things back and get some well-deserved revenge on that thieving awe. The wedding was the only chance for her to get back her possessions as they were out in the open with time to get them. If you sent her the pictures after the wedding, Adam would have had chance to hide or sell them. You absolutely did the right thing at the right time. Not the asshole rolling on the floor laughing I don't think you did anything wrong. They stole this woman's things and wore her freaking wedding dress? Did they really think no one would notice? That his ex wouldn't find out? Nope 100% they are to blame. What woman in her right mind wants to marry a man in the same dress he married his ex in? That's some weird crap. I'd say not the asshole. You are friends with her. The dress seemed familiar and you didn't have any idea she would take it as far as calling the police. In the end, not so much the dress, who cares after ended marriage, but her heirloom jewelry is another story and she deserved to have it back. You are the asshole because you made this up. Not the asshole. You didn't do anything wrong, an emo. People that cheat deserve every ounce of karma coming their way. Well done on helping Mary get that little bit of revenge, and I hope it makes her day feel a little bit better. Info. What country is this? I've never heard of police arresting someone over a civil matter with zero proof. Police would normally say, this is a civil matter, bring them to civil court.
Am I the asshole for hiding my girlfriend's heels before going to my sister's wedding? To start I'm going to mention that I'm your typical 5 feet 6 short guy. I hate myself for it, I'm openly insecure about it and have exhausted all solutions to fix this issue. I met my girlfriend 6 months ago, she met my family and they embraced her right away. My sister invited her to her wedding and mentioned including her in the wedding photos. I asked my girlfriend what shoes she was going to wear and she showed me a pair of high heels that would have basically made her look 2x taller than me. I asked if she could consider wearing sandals instead since there was going to be photos and I didn't want to look like a gnome standing next to her. She called me silly and brushed off my concerns which was not appreciated. The day of the wedding I hid her pair of high heels. She has only one set in the apartment because she moved out all the old ones after I asked her to. She tried looking for them and really seemed to think something strange happened. I started telling her to her up so we could get to the venue on time and she ended up wearing flat sandals as replacement. Everything went well, and I gave her high heels back once we got home. She was shocked when she saw me holding them. I admitted hiding them for the reasons I stated above and she got made at me and said that I shouldn't have done that and forced her to wear sandals that completely didn't match with the dress. She kept saying I got what I wanted but she will forever look awkward in those photos wearing those sandals. I do think she had every reason to be upset with me but what was I supposed to do after I made my wishes clear and she brushed them off knowing full well how I felt about those high heels. So am I the asshole? I really thought of it as harmless move and I think she might have overreacted. You are the asshole. What was I supposed to do after I made my wishes clear and she brushed them off knowing full well how I felt about those high heels? You deal with your insecurities yourself. After being told no, you don't get to force her to do what you want. Your feelings are not more important than hers. Dated three guys in your height range. Each relationship ended because they were so insecure about their height and especially next to me. Don't date people taller than you if you can't handle it. You're literally wasting her time with this relationship. You are the asshole. You are the asshole. Your insecurity is yours. What were you supposed to do? You were supposed to gracefully accept that sometimes, the answer is no. You are not automatically entitled to what you want just because you feel some particular way. You infantilized your girlfriend. You overrode her decision about what to wear. You ignored her wishes. You engineered a sneaky little end run around her decision because you wouldn't accept a no. She is absolutely right. You are the asshole, and you shouldn't have done that. But I had to hide them, it was the only way to get what I wanted, is not a good argument. Holy shit you are the asshole. I am a 5 feet 7 inches guy. If some woman wanted to wear heels, who the fuck cares? You shouldn't be judged on your height, and you're the only one doing so in this situation. But you sure as hell can be judged based on your actions. Absolute dick move, man. Grow the fuck up, apologize, and stop acting like a child. You are the asshole. It's not your body, it's not your decision, they aren't your property. If a partner did this to me I'd be seriously questioning if I wanted to stay with them. This isn't just about you hiding things, this is about you respecting them as well. You are the asshole. If you're insecure about your girlfriend being taller than you, then get a shorter girlfriend. Imagine if instead she felt insecure about being taller than you and hid all of your shoes except for a pair of platforms. You are the asshole. Six months in and you're already controlling what she wears and forcing her to obey you. Get it through your head that women have autonomy and don't have to obey you. Am I the asshole for keeping my daughter in the house? I, 34F, live with my husband, 37M, my daughter, 15F, and son, 11M. My daughter and son are from a previous marriage. There was no malice in the divorce between my ex and I so we allowed the kids to decide who they would live with, right now me primarily and dad on the weekends. Now about a week ago my husband and I sat the both of them down and announced that I am pregnant and they will be having a little brother or sister. My son was over the moon wanting to feel my stomach, even though there was nothing to feel, just overall happy. My daughter on the other hand just gave a small smile and said she was happy for us. My daughter has always been a bit apathetic towards most things and my husband took notice of that quickly after they have met and has brought it up to me a few times. Noticing her reaction or lack there of my husband let out a groan and said. You could at least pretend to be happy, that's what normal people do. My daughter just looked at him for a few seconds and then left the room without a word. I didn't think much of it until the weekend came and when my ex came for pickup I noticed my daughter had packed more than usual. I knew she was planning on spending more than the weekend and told her to go put some of the clothes back, 
she refused and tried to leave but I closed the door and told her and my ex she wasn't going. Later that night my ex called ranting about how my daughter had called him crying about how she didn't want to live with me and my husband anymore. She told him he was mean and drought up the fact that he would often call her, Sophiapath, her name is Sophia and that I just let him and never stuck up for her. I told him that my husband didn't mean anything by it and that it was all in good fun which is why I didn't say anything. I told my husband about it and told him he needed to apologize for what he said which he did but got visibly frustrated when she just stared at him until he fell to room. After the weekend was over my ex brought our son back for school and he asked his sister if she was going to living with their dad from now on. My son adores his sister and I know that if she decides to live with their dad he will too. On Monday morning I caught my daughter packing clothes in her backpack. She said her dad was going to pick her up after school and drop her off the next day. Since she didn't get to spend the weekend, I told her that she wasn't going to her dad's and that she was staying home from school that day. My daughter called my ex and told him everything and now he keeps calling saying that we had an agreement and that if she wants to live with him that I have to let her. He threatened to take me to court for custody if I was going to keep her locked up like a prisoner. I don't want to lose my kids and hurt the relationship they have with their stepfather and future sibling over a misunderstanding but I also don't want to go back on my word and have to fight my ex over custody so. Am I the a-hole? You are the asshole for letting your husband call your daughter Sophiapath. That's not a cute nickname, or a term of endearment. It's meant as an insult because she doesn't display emotion on cue for him. Yta, you said you gave them a choice, it stands that they can change their mind. You owe your daughter a huge apology. You are very controlling and your husband is not much better. You lost your daughter by letting your husband talk to her like that and didn't defend her. She is probably thinking, mom doesn't love me, just wants to put on a show. Which she is right. You are the asshole. You've made it very clear you don't even care about your daughter. You don't want her to leave because your son would want to as well. You've made it obvious your son is your pride and joy as well as your favorite and you just can't lose him now can you? You let your husband verbally abuse your daughter and who knows what else behind closed doors. You are the asshole. Your husband is bullying your daughter and you do nothing about it. If you don't get your shit together soon you can wave goodbye to a relationship with your daughter. Should it go to a custody hearing they probably will not favor you and your household due to your husband's behavior, so have a real think about that before you continue to put your shitty husband above your kids. ETA forgot to mention, she probably wasn't happy for you. The small smile probably was her pretending to be happy about the child you're having with her verbally abusive stepfather. You are the asshole. Keeping her out of school is punishment? Letting your husband call her abusive ableist nicknames? Congrats to your ex, that custody change is pretty much guaranteed. You are the asshole. Your kids have a choice who they live with, until it's not you and then you go as far as to keep them home from school to get your way. That's absurdly controlling. And your husband, holy fuck. He's bullying your daughter and you let him do it. And you wonder why she doesn't have many outward feelings of emotion, poor kid. I hope your ex does go for more custody, they deserve better parents than you and your husband. You are the asshole this is not a misunderstanding, your husband does and has been a jerk to your daughter because she doesn't emote as much as he wants her to. And you're enabling his bullying behavior. Stop trying to prevent her from going to her dad's and especially stop messing with her schooling, nothing good will come of it. You are the asshole. Smart kid. She knows it's only gonna get worse for her once that mouthy jerk has a bio kid in the house and she isn't wrong. He sounds like an immature asshole going back and forth with a teenager. A normal person. She's allowed to be a teenager who can't perfectly manage her emotions FFS. ETA. Every other sentence you mention M-U-H-H-U-Z-B-I-N. So damn proud WTF. Am I the asshole for going to meet my in-laws, who my husband has never introduced me to, with his sister? I married my husband after dating for a short time. He never introduced me to his family, even though he's close to them and visits them multiple times a year. Whenever I asked him why, he would always tell me it wasn't the right time yet and he would take me to see them one day. I met his sister when she showed up on our doorstep out of the blue. She had no idea I existed and according to her neither did the rest of his family. I like his sister a lot and it was her idea for me to meet my in-laws since my husband didn't seem to want to introduce me to them anytime soon. She told me some of their family would be in the city, including their parents, and she would introduce me to them if I wanted to meet them. My husband isn't home at the moment, so I decided to go. We went to dinner and it was awkward but they were very nice. 
They were upset my husband hadn't told them he was married and because we hadn't invited them to the wedding but they said they didn't blame me for it. After, I received a call from my husband who was furious I had gone to dinner with his family without telling him first. Am I the asshole? Girl run. So far. He's waving location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag. Was your husband out of town with his other wife that his family doesn't know about either? Second family vibes, did they mention anyone else in his life? Either way it's a red flag. If his sister invited you you are not the asshole. What the fuck your husband hadn't even told them you were married. Gonna be honest you have way more problems than just meeting his parents without you. Going with not the asshole just because this whole situation is messed up. You married someone who wouldn't introduce you to his family or even tell them about you. I can't even judge this because I cannot wrap my head around that decision enough to form an opinion on this particular conflict. Not the asshole, but please see this as the warning it is. Something is very wrong here. Either your husband's family has done something awful and he's never given you any explanation or hints about it, or he's purposely hiding you from them. Neither of those are good. Location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag. Not the asshole. Red flags abound. You need to do some digging to figure out why your husband chose to pretend you didn't exist when he spent time with his family. There is a lot wrong here, emo. Info. In all his fury did he feel it appropriate to explain himself?